planet Earth has changed. The passing of Advin's Comet in 2039 caused a meteor shower that brought an unknown crystalline substance from the depths of space. The strange crystals were called Advinite after the comet that delivered them. At first enthusiastic about discovering a radical new energy source, scientists soon grew concerned and then outright terrified. The Advinite crystals thrived on Earth, but the radiation they emitted triggered a catastrophic evolutionary response in the Earth's unprepared wildlife. Forests on Advinite affected territory were transformed into deadly jungle while animals mutated into horrible monsters. Millions of people were forced to take flight. The governments of the world decided to use nuclear weapons against these pockets of hostile evolution. But their plans backfired. Nourished by the radiation, the Advanite infestation spread even faster and plunged the world into a dark age. Famine, riots, and the relentless onslaught of monsters. The death toll soon rose to billions. Civilization was pulled back from the edge of collapse when Professor Cauldron discovered an energy field capable of blocking Advanite radiation. Humanity survived. Its remnants gathered in vast megapolises under the protection of the Cauldron drones. These days, Earth is a new world, a hostile world. No one could survive on this world without us. We defend cities against nature gone mad. We make it possible to develop essential resources. We save the fools who venture outside the protection of the dome. We are experts. If there isn't a problem, we can't solve. Commander, my name is Veronica, and I'll be your adjutant. Let's start with the basics of the combat interface. Move it! You saved my life. My name is Gia Wagner. My group and I were tracking a creature I call the Overseer. If you manage to retrieve the body of this creature, I shall express my gratitude by doubling your current fee. Hunting an unknown beast in the middle of the jungle doesn't look like a smart idea, but we need the money. Stay put. We will send a transport to your coordinates. Let's roll out, gents. We aren't done here yet. That's one scary beast. A couple of spike wings are protecting it, and one of them just flanked your scout. Deal with it quickly. Slow it down. Any ideas how to kill this monster, Doc? I never had a chance to properly study it. 
All I have is a hypothesis of his existence. Hold on. I have an emergency plan. Prepare to receive a control code for the Council's military satellite.
Soldier healed. Construction complete. Hey boss, know what I've been doing for the past couple of days? Fixing vending machines and replacing light bulbs. Is this how you see my place here? Well, think again. You hired a skilled engineer. Now give me some proper work.
Abduction complete. The armory allows us to build just about anything. A tank, a space shuttle, you name it. All I need is the technology and the resources. Let me know when our eggheads research something new. For the time being, I'll make sure we have an ample supply of grenades. You'll need some more engineers to build complex items, but it can wait. I think Veronica has something important to discuss with you.
position. Cover! Move it! Soldier killed. Soldier healed.
contact.
This is incredible! Just an hour ago, I saw a breathless corpse with a missing arm. And now, that corpse is sitting in quarantine, smoking a cigarette. Which, might I add, is strictly forbidden. He asked to speak with you, Commander. Let's hear what he has to say. Commander, I owe you big time. The name's Samuel Mbarra, but you can call me Hammer. They say you took out the Overseer. Glad to hear it. That piece of filth killed my boys. Hammer, what happened in the jungle? How were your men killed? I've been asking myself the same question. There was something fishy about this mission from the very beginning. Some big shot contacted me, offered a fortune for escorting a group of scientists into the jungle. It was all going well until a attacked attacked and believe it or not, they acted like they had training or something. Soldier healed. Got civilian bodies here. Must be the lab personnel. Commander, this looks like a standard demolition charge. Any of your mercs can handle it. Contact! Target's out of sight. Die! 
into the building's security network, intact cameras show more enemy troops advancing on your position. Get ready for a fight! Commander, mop up the remaining enemies and get out of that lab. I hope Umbara knows what he's doing. Commander, Dr. Wagner will be safer here with us. No one will try to blow her up here. And she may be of use to us, too. She's coming up on a comm channel right now. I was told you live in a cave. As appealing as it sounds, but if you want me to move into that hole, I will at least require a proper workplace. Build a science bay and hire a team of decent scientists. Then I can offer my help as a researcher. Trust me, you won't regret having me around.
Soldier healed. Construction complete. This isn't the new Washington Research Center, of course, but it will do for now. It's good to be able to get back to my studies. It's a shame, though, that I will have to start almost from scratch. I will also research new weapons for you if you supply me with the necessary resources. My team was conducting medical research and had a small breakthrough, which may be of use to us. Research the medical nanogel, and I will explain to you how to use this new technology in battle. Soldier healed. Commander, I'm handing over control of the base to you. If you need me, come to the command center. wait to start making the new med kits. When you have the required materials, just come to the armory and I'll manufacture them for you.
Commander, we have a matter that requires your personal involvement. The missions our squad goes on have become more dangerous, which means our mercs suffer more wounds. We only have one infirmary in our base. It allows us to heal one soldier at a time, so everyone else have to wait for their turn. If we build an additional infirmary, we will be able to heal two fighters simultaneously, allowing them to get back into action quicker. Construction complete. Lucy, you don't have to scream so loud. We didn't know. Commander, how could you? I can understand Veronica. All she thinks about is blowing somebody's brains out, but you? You should have paid attention. I think we should tell the commander about the problem instead of screaming like crazy. I will listen to you scream like crazy when this base goes dark. Do you even begin to realize that by building the infirmary, you stretched our power grid to the limit? If you don't build another power plant immediately, the grid will overload and shut down, and with it, all of our security systems and communications. You're blowing things out of proportion. The power grid is more than capable of sustaining the current load. But you're right, we need another power plant if we want to expand our base. Construction complete. Great! Wounded mercs now receive proper and timely medical care. And the power grid has reserves to sustain more buildings. Commander, don't forget that upgrading your base should be one of your top priorities if you want this company to grow. Production complete. Engineers are far more talented than I expected. The parameters of the device they assembled are very close to being perfect. If you need more medkits, simply go back to the armory and manufacture them, assuming you have enough resources. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my research.
Commander, it seems that we finally have some clues to the whereabouts of the mercs that attacked Dr. Wagner's lab. Samuel will bring you up to speed. Hello, Commander. We haven't met, but this doesn't matter now. Let's just say that I represent a certain group of people. We're very interested that Dr. Wagner continues her research. The key to it is a creature called the Overseer. The number of mutant attacks on the megacities has been rising in the last year. The beasts amass into huge packs, steamroll over the fortifications, and into the crowded streets. Bullets and shells only slow them down for a moment. Dr. Wagner believes that the Overseer somehow coordinates these attacks. It is crucial that we study this ability. We were aware that the beast's remains were destroyed in the explosion, but prior to that, Jericho mercenaries, the ones behind this attack, took something from the lab, namely a server which contained data and analysis on the Overseer. We have security footage that confirms Jericho is in possession of the server. You must find that server. I suggest you start with Jericho's office in Third Rome. The entire building is owned by the company, so don't worry about collateral damage. We will pay generously for your efforts, of course. Good luck. It seems like all the psychos and nut jobs in our line of work have been gathered together in Jericho. This mission's not going to be easy. 